Craig here and in this video I'm going to be covering the plugin called Google Drive for WordPress. Now basically with this plugin you can set it up so either daily, weekly or monthly you can have a complete backup, uh, all the core files and the database backed up, put into a zip file and sent over to your Google Drive account. So in this video I'm going to show you how to set this up. So going over to Google I'm in one of my old Gmail accounts. Now you have to activate a Google Drive account. Now if you haven't done that already, you can simply enter in Drive into the Google search and it's going to be one of these top three results. So it's drive.google.com slash start. Now if you haven't activated it, it's going to give you like a little message saying, you know, get started or I think up here it says something like uh, get a free five gigabyte five gigabyte uh, account but I've already activated mine so I'm gonna click go to Google Drive so if you're not familiar with Google Drive basically it's an online storage account but with a couple more features where you can you know share your files and folders with other people you may know or basically you can just use it as an online storage so coming back to my blog I've uh, located the plugin by searching Google Drive and it's the first result currently so it's Google Drive for WordPress and I'm going to click on install now and OK. And I'm going to activate my plugin. Now once activated we get a new uh, menu button up here saying configure Google. Now the first step is we have to configure Google. Now this is about the most complicated part there is and uh, once you've done it once you should be able to do this you know, very quickly the next time. So what we have to do is go to the Google API console and it's we can click right on here and it'll open in a new tab and if it's the first time you've ever been here you will be presented with this screen and we're going to click on create project and what I'm going to do now is click on this uh, drop down menu here and I'm going to click on rename because right now this project is called API project but I want to give it my blog name so that you know I can see what project belongs with what so Normally what I would just do is go API and then enter in my domain name which was wainvite.com and then click save. Because if you have uh, several blogs, you know, you'll be able to pull this down and see all the other projects that you have going should you need to make any changes. So once you've renamed your project, you're going to click on API access. And we need to create a client ID product name I'm just going to enter in WA invite again uh, that's me yes product logo no nope. I'm going to click next and what we want to do here is click on the more options make sure web application is checked and then more options and then we have authorized redirect URL now if I go back to my blog we have uh, an authorization redirecting URL and it tells us exactly what we have to paste in. So we need to copy this line and paste it in here. So I'm going to click on create client ID. And now we have a client ID and a client secret. So the first thing I'm going to do is copy my client ID and come back to my uh, blog. So we can see the client ID, we're going to control V and paste it in there. Now we have to go and get the client secret and I'm going to copy that and paste that in and click on allow access, click allow access again and basically we've set up the main part and that's the only hard part so next time if you were doing this on another blog you'll come back to this page and you would simply uh, create new or you, you know click on create and you create a new project okay so going over the settings the first one is backup settings enter the backup folder name so we can enter what we want here I'm going to put WA invite and then it's got an underscore timestamp now basically what that's going to do is when it creates a backup a backup is going to appear here and it's going to be called 
wa invite underscore it's going to have a timestamp dot zip so do i want to be emailed about this uh yes and it's going to email under the settings in general whatever email address is there it's going to email if you want to email another email address you can enter it in there we so here we can choose if we want to do it daily weekly or monthly or none now again this is you know it depends on how often you're adding content to your blog if you're only doing one post a week then leave it on weekly but if you're adding uh, content every day then you may want to back it up daily so that you don't lose anything so you know for this example i'm going to set it to daily and the next backup is scheduled for september september 11th and we're going to click save now when i click save it's it's going to go and create a backup right now if i remember correctly but we have manage database and here you can exclude uh, some tables from being backed up uh, include database in the backup it's by default it's on yes so just confirm that it's still on yes and set backup limit so we have one two or three now what this is is not only does it create a backup and send it to google drive it also stores free well if you have it set to free it will store free copies on your local on your hosting account so it's already created a database backup tells me the size and if i want to send it right now to google drive i could just click that button and it would go ahead and if i wanted to download it i can click there or delete but you don't have to click move that's just a, another kind of option now manage files so everything here is inside of the wp content folder and i recommend you back everything up so we, we don't if we put a check it's not going to back up this folder so you know make sure you're not excluding anything and then the other core files you know this you may have stuff here that you don't need to back up like this domain is a test domain on wealthy affiliate hosting so it has a whole bunch of folders and directories that i do not need backing up so this is just an example but i know none of these are related to my wordpress installation so and i don't need them backed up so i have simply check those and scroll down and again we have how many copies do we want stored on our local server i recommend you always put it to free it's going to keep free on your server and click save in a couple of days when you revisit it revisit you will see that there are three different backups available in here so next we have uh, on time backup so let's say i want to create a backup right now i just hit backup and it'll go off and it'll start creating my backup now the amount of time it's going to take to complete the backup obviously it depends on actually this is done it was less than a, i don't know less than a minute but keep in mind this is just a test blog it doesn't really have any content and i've excluded a bunch of stuff which would have made it take a lot longer so going to google drive you'll see that we now have a zip file here called wa invite and then this is supposed to be a time this is supposed to be a timestamp, but I like today is uh, September 4th, 2012. And right now at uh, 7.21 PM. So I don't, I can't figure out <laughs> what kind of timestamp that is. But the, f the thing is it's backing everything up. And now, you know, I don't have to worry if I lose my site or the hosting crashes and they lose everything. I still have a backup on my Google Drive account that I can fall back on and rely on. So that's basically how you use the plugin uh, Google Drive for WordPress. Now it may have seemed like a huge task to set all that up, but keep in mind I was creating a video and walking you through it and taking my time. Now if I just installed the blog and I wanted to set this up when I wasn't recording a video, probably looking at around uh, I don't know, two minutes maximum to set that up. Anyway, if you have any questions or comments, uh, post a comment below and uh, I'll try and help you out. Have a great day.